Hello everyone and welcome to the first game of the second day of the AIMCHS US Rapid Knockouts. It's Young Shishtov Duda versus Magnus Carlsen. Yesterday Magnus won their match by winning two games and drawing one and now uh, Duda has to bounce back to force tie breaks. And this is the first game, like I said, uh, let's check it out. It's uh, quite an impressive one. So Duda with the white pieces opens with e4. We have e5 by Magnus, knight to f3, knight to c6 and the bishop to b5. Duda goes for the Rui Lopez. Uh, we have knight to f6 and d3. Uh, so the Berlin defense is on the board. We have bishop to c5 uh, and now bishop captures on c6. D captures and knight b to d2. Uh, we have bishop to g4. Magnus develops the bishop by pinning the knight. We have h3 and now bishop to h5. We have g4 by Duda, bishop to g6 and now uh, knight to b3. Attacking the bishop here and also both knights will now uh, serve as nice support if white ever wants to execute d4. So bishop back to d6. We have bishop to g g5 uh, and now h6 also attacking white's bishop bishop to h4 and now uh you could play um uh, a lot of things here for example you could just castle both players could just castle but magnus continues with this very interesting h5 it's not a new move it has been played before and now you're challenging uh white's g4 pawn so here uh white plays rook to g1 uh we have h captures and g4 h captures and queen to e7 and now uh there is one game in the database where bishop to g5 was played but here duda plays queen to e2 he prepares castles queen side and it is now as of move 14 that we have a completely new game so let's see how Magnus continues. Uh, he has to decide whether to keep the king in the center of the board. Maybe he will castle king side, although very unlikely, or he will also castle queen side. Uh, this is what he does. We have castles queen side by both players uh, and now queen to e6. Uh, a useful move. The queen will be uh, much stronger on this diagonal if the knight ever moves you can maybe even pick up the a2 pawn so king to b1 of course black uh, is uh, ready for this and now rook d to e8. If uh, white ever uh, executes this e uh, d4 idea, then you can just capture and your rook, queen, and bishop, and knight will be ready to, uh, to pick up the e4 pawn. So here we have rook to g3. The rook will maybe also uh, have some use here on, on the uh, third rank. You can shift it to, to e3. You can play d4, maybe shift it into the attack at some point. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we have knight to d7 by Magnus. He wants to play f6 and shift the bishop over to f7. Uh, so bishop to g5. This bishop Bishop also isn't doing all that much now here as it's only defended by the knight. So this knight can move, otherwise you're going to lose the bishop. So bishop to g5 and now f6. We have bishop back to e3 uh, and now bishop to f7. Uh, if the knight now moves, of course, we can capture here and we don't really uh, have to worry about uh, white capturing this pawn. Uh, if you capture it, then we can simply trap the, the bishop with b6. That's not really what you want to do. So after bishop to f7, we have c4. Uh, now it's uh, it stops the queen and bishop battery here from uh, always uh, honing in on that uh, a2 pawn, uh, but it leaves the weak d3 pawn. So maybe that's uh, also something white will have to worry about, but the duda prepared for it. The rook is already defending from g3 from d1 uh, it's uh, sufficiently defended so here we have b6 by magnus uh, and now comes knight f to d2 uh, and Magnus plays g5 now, grabbing more uh, more space here on the king's side. And only now uh, does Duda uh, play d4. And this is now uh, this is now a great move uh, as Magnus's c6 pawn is not defended. So here Magnus captures on d4. We have knight captures attacking the queen and the c6 pawn. And now queen to e5. We have knight captures on c6, queen to e6, and now rook g back to g1. Uh, we have king to b7, forcing Duda's knight away from c6, knight back to d4, attacking the queen, and queen back to e5. So whether this was a sacrifice or did Magnus just blunder the c6 pawn, I have no idea, but it uh, does appear that black has uh, counterplay for, for uh, white spending so many moves with the knight. Uh, we have queen uh, knight to f5 now. This is an excellent square for the knight. The other knight uh, might find its way some someday on d5, and that would be uh, two awesomely placed knights. Uh, we have bishop to c5. The knight attacks the bishop here. So bishop c5 challenging white's bishop here, uh, and now f3 strengthening the e4 and the g4 pawns. Uh, we have bishop captures, uh, knight captures on e3, and now knight to c5. So for the moment. Uh, black uh, isn't really feeling the, the absence of, of that one pawn. Uh, and now Duda has to continue 
uh, with something like rook to h1 or maybe knight to d5 then trying to bring the other knight over maybe to f5 or maybe uh, the other knight also to e3 to have both knights uh, eyeing that uh, d5 and f5 squares so that's what duda should be doing however he played king to a1 and this uh, uh, although it seems like uh, the king is safer on a1 it's uh, it's really not here magnus plays rook to d8 uh, and now you don't really have time to go for knight to d5 like on the previous move. If you try knight to d5 now, then Magnus plays rook to h2. And now the queen is attacked. You can play something like rook to g2. Now comes knight to a4. We're threatening checkmate on b2. Uh, and after a move like rook to b1, we can capture here. For example, ca uh, captures, captures, and now play c6. We chase away this knight. Knight to e3 and now queen d4 with a double attack on the knight here. And after the knight finally moves, now we pick up the pawn captures captures and after queen captures the black equalizes in material uh, but his position is uh, better as the well white king uh, is really really in, in a terrible situation here black controls the uh, the, the d file with the rook and uh, black it, it will be hard for white to defend here so instead after rook to d8 we have knight d to f1 by duda uh, and now uh, magnus continues with a5 uh, we have rook captures on d8, rook captures on d8, and now comes knight to g3. Uh, preparing to bring this knight here and this knight here uh, but the position is now lost for for Duda uh, but it's not easy to spot this move it's uh, really uh, truly an elusive idea uh, so feel free to pause the video and win the game for Magnus while I give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting that the king on a1 is truly terribly placed. Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's a4. Yes, it's always great when the winning move is a pawn move. Uh, and now a3 is coming. The b-pawn cannot move. The b-pawn is pinned and it's, uh, well just uh, j just an entire mess and maybe in some lines even knight to b3 check can be played if captures captures then the rook comes to a8 uh, so not a lot of things to do here if you try and stop the pawn with a3 then knight to b3 check just wins for example king a2 uh, rook comes to d2 uh, the queen is attacked we're threatening checkmate this is completely winning now uh, so after this a4 uh, duda wastes another move playing king to b1 so first king a1 now king to b1 in a position where you should not be wasting moves uh, Magnus just continues with a3. So what can be done here? You could play b captures on a3, yes, but then uh, we just play rook to d3. We can pick up the pawn, uh, and uh, a white's position will uh, very soon, you know, just uh, 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 collapse. Uh, so after this a3 move, uh, knight to d5 by Duda, trying to, you know, uh, have an active knight on d5 and maybe block off this bishop maybe try and stop the attack but now just c6 this knight will not be remaining here and there is no better square for the knight so here knight back to e3 and now knight to a4 magnus just brings a third attacker to the v2 pawn and there's no way of defending it now b3 is uh, well especially impossible uh, because knight to c3 check just picks up the queen so after this knight to a4 we have queen to c2 attacking the knight but knight just captures on b2 uh, and here black is completely winning but this is rapid chess of course duda will try everything and anything so c5 trying to open up the black king's position a little bit but now rook to d3 attacking the knight here uh, we have knight g to f5 defending this knight and now just b captures on c5 magnus says this is not a problem i'm just going to capture a pawn here and now duda tries rook to h1 maybe some rook to h7 action is possible but queen to e6 now by magnus going after this a2 pawn uh, we have knight to d5 blocking this other than this uh, uh, sacrifice you don't really have any other option knight to d5 uh, but magnus happily captured this knight we have captures uh, uh, on c5 uh, on d5 we have queen captures on c5 now uh, and here uh, d captures on e4 and there's really nothing to be done here so it was in this position that young shishtov duda resigned the game uh, as there is nothing more to be done here uh, but uh, I, i'm um, uh, you know this is online chess so uh, sometimes when i want to capture a pawn i accidentally just you know push it forward and if uh, magnus somehow did this then duda would be completely winning for example knight d6 check 
king has to move, we're going to deliver another check, queen to b6 check, and this would be checkmate now. And it wouldn't be the first time this happens in online chess. Uh, and to Magnus. So, you know, it, it could have happened, but it didn't. Magnus successfully captured the pawn. He played d captures on e4, and then Duda just resigned here, as there is, well, uh, no, no hope of continuing this. There's a... Uh, uh, you could continue with something like queen to b5 check, but we can easily block this with queen to b6 and you don't really have anything else. This is covered by the rook. Uh, you can't really trade, you're down too much material, so whatever you try here is just hopeless. Uh, so yeah, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Seth Hansen, Jessica Rikovicious, uh, Hayden Queenie, uh, Aditya Para Parasaharati and Christoph Alexander Sopa for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon uh, continuing the coverage uh, of this very nice event, checking up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.